All right, all right, all right. So I've learned my lesson. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to our little Shinex. Oh my gosh. All right, let me see if I can go ahead and definitely buy some potions and a heal ball, a remedial Pokeball that restores the HP of a Pokemon caught with it and eliminates any status conditions. Okay, having a Pokemon and a heal ball would be kind of cute. We don't really have the money to splurge on that right now, but just in case we run across a Pokemon who would look oh so shiny and perfect matched up in a heal ball, we'll buy a couple of those. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. And then let's go ahead and grab a few potions. Whoops. I really probably need more than one potion. I've learned my lesson. I thought we could go ahead and just barrel. Gosh, darn it, ma'am. <laughs> I feel like I reach for one and before I can finish putting more potions on the, the counter, she's just like scanning and like checking me out. Like, ma'am, if you could please just be a little patient, I'm going to get at least six potions. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. I'm fine. I'm fine. But guys, hello and welcome. Welcome back to Pokemon Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond, where we just had our very first Pokemon faint with Zeolite. And we're not playing Nuzlocke, but I do want to go ahead and add our own special spin to things. So I've decided that when our Pokemon faint, there's a chance that they are going to refuse to battle until their conditions are met. And for Zeolite here, his conditions are we either need to give him five days, so five episodes, where he's going to kind of think about what happened and decide if he wants to join back into the fray, or we need to find a shiny thing, or we need to get his sense of territorial competition with the other Shinix up by defeating a Shinix and then rolling a dice for the number four. All of that may sound very confusing to those of you who are like, what the heck, what are you doing, Siri? I'm adding a little bit of extra roleplay polish into our series, friends. And if you're not here for the roleplay, I'm not sure why you're here, but I do hope you're having a good time because these are the kinds of things that make it a lot of fun for me. And it also is very fitting. I'm basically going to go off of our Pokemon's personalities. And since Zeolite, AKA Zeo, is very gentle by nature and very defiant, it makes sense that he would be extremely stubborn, but also a little bit territorial. So we either run into another Shinex that he's going to want to like fight. And if he defeats, he will join us in battle again. Or I need to give him a shiny thing to try to like win over his personality. Or we just need to wait until he like decides he wants to fight with us once more. All right, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to do things based on our Pokemon's personalities. If they happen to faint, we will pull them from being in the active roster of battling Pokemon. And they're going to have a request for us that we're going to need to fill. It might be getting them a special treat. It might be getting some sort of special item or finding another Pokemon or going to a certain place. But I think that that will add so much more story in, especially because our shy little kitten who's just very gentle isn't sure that he wants to go ahead and fight now and is just hiding inside of my bag and like turning his face away which is kind of ridiculously cute and i think avin actually is upset i think she really wants to level up before we manage to reach the next level of our quest so that she can try to become stronger to protect the rest of the team from those kinds of things happening again avin's really got quite like the protective personality i really love that about her all right can we sneak past these trainers and we're gonna carry on friends so, trainer tips. Pokemon, yep, they have power points. Thank you very much. Glad to see we're trying to educate all of the kidlets of the world. And we're on it! So, on our quest to go ahead and become the best Pokemon archaeologist and also gemologist out there, we need to push our way to Eterna City and get to the underground. I want to build the best, coolest underground base ever. And in order to get to Eterna City, we need to barrel our way through Orberg. Which means I need to figure out how to get to the other side of this path. Hmm, let's see. I think this kid's gonna try to fight me, sure enough. But Avin, adventuring, our Turtwig is very bold in nature, so I think she likes to take on these battles. Oh, it's youngster Dallas! I used to live in Dallas, actually. <gasps> what is this? Oh, you cute little thing! A Krikot! He could play us all sorts of adorably sweet music, Avin. But I don't think she's very like amused by insect types because they do try to nibble her leaves. All right, we've gotta be careful. I can't remember if we're strong against insects. I don't think we would be. I'm gonna try using leafage just to see what happens. Yeah, not very effective. That's what I thought. Oh, 
can you imagine how musical a Krikot's growl would sound? Alright, come on, Avin. I know she definitely wants to level up before we can go into the next gym. Because she feels bad for our little Shinix. And I wish I could find something shiny for them. Maybe if I find, like, a shiny Pokeball lying around, that'll do it. There you go, Zio. The team will still help you become strong and recharge, even if you don't want to fight for a while. It got me down! Sorry, Kidlet. Gotta take your lunch money. It's just the way things are. I don't bear grudges over losing, but I promise I'll get tougher. Well, you do that. Also, study and do your math homework, and uh oh I walked right into... <laughs> right into this waiting lass's arms, unfortunately. Alright, lass. Let's see. Lass Caitlin. I'm just trying to get... Oh! It's Badoof! It's Evan's, like, arch rivals! I really need to get ourselves a really cool Badoof who could help us. Alright, let's go ahead and use Leafage. Who could help us build really cool, like, underground bunkers. We're gonna need somebody with good building skills, and Badoof has great building skills. All right, hang in there, Avin. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna do a tackle. You're gonna be strong enough to be able to protect all of your friends in no time. Also, I wanna run into more Pokemon. I feel like we've only seen like five types. I would love to spend more time. Okay, Starly, now nah, we're good. All right, even though, yeah, we should be pretty okay against the Starly. Come on, Avin. I wish I could get Avin some, like, really cool Pokemon from my, my other adventures, but Pokemon Home is actually not going to be compatible to transfer Pokemon from your other games into Pokemon Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond until next year, my friends. <gasps> a Badoo? Be still my heart, last Caitlin. I want to make a Badoo garden so bad. Can you imagine how wonderfully sweet that would smell? Oh, little cutie! Yes, now that we've gone ahead and we've tried to fight against this little one. Come on, Avin, think about it. We could put some Badoo on your back to have a little garden there too. All right, not very effective, but effective enough. I absolutely have to go find where the Badoo are. I love Badoo. I'm very, very much a plant type lover, I will admit it. But it would be cool to see what kind of ground type Pokemon we might fall in love with, especially in the underground. All right, last Caitlin. Yes, yes, that's what you get for being so rude. I'll take your lunch money as well. I walk through tall grass until I find the Pokemon I want. That sounds excellent. Also, where the heck is that Badoo from? All right, let's see. All right, we've got Starly. Yes, we need to keep an eye out for Badoo. Let's check on the habitat. Have we... Okay, we're still in Badoo for habitat. We still have a chance to get our, like, famed arch rival. Where is Cricket Habitat? Cricot? Ooh, Habitat Unknown! Fascinating! That kid had a rarer Pokemon. We've got Shinixes all over the place, and... <gasps> Come on, Badoo! Okay, so Badoo is actually going to be... Uh, during the daytime... Where is it at night? Okay, during the day and night and morning, it's actually going to be on this route right over here and right over here. So we're not going to run into any Badoo right now, but I wonder, can I go to the north? I might have to double back and we might have to go see if we can snag a Badoo. That just might be what we have to do. Alright, <gasps> an Abra! Whoa! Okay! I did not expect to stumble upon a wild Abra just sound asleep, um, but let's see, Premier Ball. A little baby Abra is going to zip itself right away. It was probably having sweet dreams. Come on, come on. Oh, dang it. Yep, it's gonna teleport. Bye, little one. Wow. Okay, well, at least we had some dreams of wild Abra. That, were re that was really cool. All right, let's see. And then, oh, I get to go through, we get to go through a little tunnel. Okay, hopefully we'll run into something really cool in the tunnel, but that means that we won't, well, maybe we'll find something shiny for, for our Shinex. Hello, sir? Oh, looky there, you've got a poke attack. Hmm, you're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good. You've, you're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. So let me make a gift of these technical machines to you. TM98, got it. 
All right. Each of these TMs contains the move Rock Smash. FYI, when you use a technical machine to teach your Pokemon a move, that TM will then break. So think very carefully about when to use it. I've also added a new feature to your Poketech, Rookie Trainer. It's the Hidden Moves app. Use Rock Smash from your Poketech and a wild Pokemon will get rid of boulders on your path. But to use this hidden move in the field, you'll first need the gym badge from Orbo. I'm looking forward to seeing your growth. What? So you can go ahead and if you don't have somebody in your party who could destroy those things, you could go ahead and just have like a wild Pokemon come and do it for you? That would be so cool! Because then we could smash all these rocks! Okay, I might- Oh! <gasps> I bet it's a Zubat. It's a Geodude! Why, hello, friend! Adventuring and I are actually in the mood to go ahead and try to do a lot of battling with some of you rock types because I want to get deep into the underground. Oh wow, that's like a perfect amount. This Geodude endured, en endured the hit because it's very defensive. All right, all right. And then I'm actually gonna go ahead and catch her. Because we are going to try to study some of the rock types and any fossil types that we might have popping about. I don't know if there's any that we might find in this region, but there we go, a female Geodude! Nice! Yay, and adventuring leveled up. I think she's feeling more confident now that we're getting like into the caves. There we go! It is impossible to distinguish from rocks. It slams against others in contests of toughness, a rock and ground type. Hello, Geodude! And we are gonna go ahead and give the Geodude a name, keeping in line with our Pokemon gemology research. We're actually just gonna go ahead, and this is gonna seem like I'm wimping out, but I'm not. Oops. <laughs> there we go. I wanna go ahead and name our Geodude Geode all the way through because, I mean, Geodes are amazing and beautiful, and it makes so much sense to name a Geodude Geode and think about collecting wild Geodes. Huh, and I think we're gonna have to go ahead, actually, now that I think about it, this is perfect! We can go ahead and we can teach our brand new Geodude the new TM! The user attacks with a punch that lowers the, de the target's defense stat. It's also one of the Pokétex hidden moves. All right, so Geode, no doubt, can break apart some of the rocks. Uh, she was probably doing that when we stumbled upon her and picked her up thinking she was a pretty Geode. But you know what? Maybe that made her happy. You guys, I think Geode here is going to have a roleplay secret personality where she actually really wants to be considered beautiful. She knows what she has on the inside is a glittering heart full of diamonds and beautiful gemstones. Uh, but often, like, people just look at a Geode and a Geodude and they're like, oh, it's just a rock and they walk by. She wants to be recognized for her inner beauty. Which means, I think the soft spot for our Geode here, aka our Geodude, but her name's Geode, is going to be that she wants to win the Pokemon beauty competitions. So if she faints, we have to get her like something pretty or like some sort of accessory, or we need to have her win like a competition or enter them. She wants to be recognized for her own inner beauty. All right, but we'll teach her how to break open some rocks. There we go. There you go, Geode. I love that idea! Okay, I, I'm actually gonna save right now because I want to make sure. Like, we've just added a new member to the party. And she's not shiny, so I don't think Shinix is going to count her as like, okay, I like having this Pokemon with me. As a shiny thing. However... Nice! Maybe we will find a shiny thing if we push deeper into... Super effective. If we push our way deeper into the cave system. And I think that all of the Geodudes know Sturdy. So they're not going to go down without another fight. What? Sandstorm! What? Hang in there, Adventurine! Thankfully, she's got like a lot of health. All right, we're just going to go ahead and use Leafage again. There. Nice! And I think we might actually go ahead and try battling, nice, some of the trainers that are here so that maybe they can give us a shiny thing. Oh, can I wiggle past all of them? I can. Wait, wait, wait. Why can't I? 
destroy this rock now that Geode knows the hidden move. Let's see. I could restore. Because we learned the hidden move, right? Huh, that's interesting. Well, is this just the way to the next city? It is! Look at this! The city of energy, Orberg. Fascinating! I thought we were going to do a little bit more fighting. Howdy, trainer! If you don't have a single gym badge, other trainers will look down on you like you're a total noob, right? So I'll show you where the town's Pokemon gym is. Well, gosh, thanks! I really want to get to my archaeology. Huh? There's someone there! Oh, it's Chip! Okay, well, that's the gym. Chips, I'll be with you in just a moment, my dear. Let's go ahead and heal up. And I guess we just managed to get ourselves into, like, the other side of the city with no problem. And I mean, on the one hand, I want to do some more exploring and catching more Pokemon. We're really getting far away from the Bidoof that I know would be the perfect foil as a rival for our adventuring. Hmm, not to mention Bidoof can learn so many good skills. However, we've gotten so much closer! You guys, can I just barrel my way to the north? Alright, will this let me go north? Burberg City, the City of Energy, yes, yes. Alright, town map. <gasps> there it is! A turn is sitting in access to the underground! I wonder if I could just push my way through. Ah, dang it! Okay, so I can't push my way through, and there's Geodudes everywhere! Wow! Alright, come on, adventuring. This one's a little bit stronger. I think they all have sturdy, so you can't just immediately, like, knock them out. Yep, there we go again. Super effective! The Geodude endured the hit! Oh, it's fighting back! Hang in there, adventuring! Alright, we're gonna go ahead and knock it out again. And I think actually finding this Pokeball lying in the grass can count as Zio's shiny thing! Yay! And Tom just grew up to level 10 too! Alright, there you go, Zio. See? Geodude's growing up in levels as well. <gasps> Geodude wants to learn the move Rock Polish! Cool! I wonder what Rock Polish does. Let's see. The user polishes its body to reduce drag. This sharply raises the sweet spot. Actually, that's perfect. That makes so much sense that she would want to go ahead and like shine herself and like look better. Uh, so, hmm. Let's go ahead and we're actually going to forget Defense Curl because she's going to try to come out of her like geode, I suppose, and be recognized for that beauty on the big stage. I think that that would be really fun. I love that personality! Oh, it's gonna be so much fun to see what she does. <gasps> berries! There's berries, you guys! And I found a Pokeball. Well, I'm pretty happy with the progress so far. And I wonder if finding... Oh, dang it! What do we find now? Another Geode. <laughs> or Geodude, pardon me. But I think that finding that Pokeball will actually count as Zeo's uh, desire to go ahead and find a shiny thing. So, because you can only find those once, and then they're, like, gone forever. So next time, we will actually have everybody on the team ready to go ahead and join us in battle. I love that we have a new member who really wants to, like, join the beauty competitions. We found a Geodude who dreams of beautiful victory. And we'll have to see what Chips wants and how we can work our way through the next gym and hopefully into the waiting open arms of the underground next time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Geode. And if you would like to join us on this, here we go again, <laughs> and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.